Hi everyone, this is Jason Suzuka from Patient FYI. Thanks for taking the time on your Friday morning. Today I'm actually celebrating several different things. One is it's my five-year anniversary, so I want to thank my wife for letting me spend my anniversary morning with you lovely people from Benko. But also we're celebrating the, the last day of a very successful launch with Patient FYI and Benko. The month of July, which was obviously hampered with the first week being the 4th of July holiday, was very, very successful. We had over 425 Benko dentists enroll in the Benko gift package with, with those coming through the door from over 100 different Benko TRs were able to find success with patient FYI in the first two and a half weeks. This, this included over 10 territory representatives enrolling over 10 of their clients within the month of July, a, a fabulous start that we know is only going to improve during the months of August and September. In addition, Benko dentists that have enrolled in the program have had a lot of success themselves already with over 200 of them taking part in the, in the in-office patient referral program. And the average Benko dentist that's highlighted on Patient FYI has been done so at the top of over 200 local patient searches on average. Let me point out, that's in a fraction of a month. Many dentists only came on during this pat during these last week and a half. So an outstanding result for your clients that we're excited to share with more and more of your clients. In addition, Patient FYI has received an unbelievable amount of positive feedback from your clients on the in-office patient referral program, with many of them already beginning to, to go beyond their free ones and begin sending us ones that they're, they're, they themselves are willing to pay for. So what we've decided to do is to continue to reward TRs for, do, for their great success. We've extended the in-office referral program and combined it with a brand new incentive that we are going to be launching this Monday. It's really quite simple, and that is for every successful enrollment that a Benko TR has, we are going to reward all of their clients that have, that have enrolled with an additional free in-office patient referral submission. And what we're going to do is we'll retro that back to anything that was done in July as well. So I want to today point out Tom Peterson. Tom has not only knocked the cover off the ball with the amount of, of enrollments that he sent in in the month of July, but also the quality of the enrollment form. His, his clients are up and going on patient FYI within an average of 24 hours from the point that they get the re enrollment form in. And he's doing so because not only does he get the quantity in, but also because they come in perfectly. Okay. Tom, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. I've listened to Tom and his approach, and I'm, I'm amazed at not only how simple it is, but also how actionable it is for anyone that wants to have the same amount of success. And I've broken it down into a couple of main areas that I'm going to ask Tom to speak to. So Tom, the first one in my category, which I call help, which is how Tom is helping his clients help themselves, is the way Tom highlights patient FYI when he introduces it to his clients. Tom, can you tell the group a little bit about how you do that? Yeah, when I go into an office, I'm trying to just simple this down because this this is a pretty big concept, and um, I'm actually not really using as much the Benko literature as I am the next couple slides that uh, Jason's going to show you. Um, and just trying to tell the doctor, look, this is simple. We want to Benko wants to help create for you an online profile. With, with with patient FYI, which is WebMD's database for searching for finding a dentist. And if we can connect your profile and even your website with WebMD and patient profile with the clout that they have, web optimization is all about not your website or what you do out there, but it's what you're connected to. So if we can connect you with the cloud of WebMD and all these searches and their relationships with Google and Yahoo, then your information comes to the top of the list much quicker. Absolutely. Tom, can you tell a little bit about some of the visuals and slides that you're actually putting in front of your clients? Um, first, I'm, I'm using this one here, and I, and I also use the Benka one because it has the uh, WebMD logo on it, and I point to that logo, and I point to patient FYI, 
and I say this is this is just a comparative what you're getting when you do the Benco package, which what we want to do first thing is Benco, we want to buy you the first two months. And then after that it is fifty dollars a month and it's ongoing. It's not a contract. It's not built at once if you want to move it along. And then I show them this uh, I've printed this slide. I keep this in my briefcase. Uh, go to the WebMD, uh, the profile one, the next one down. Um, and that just shows uh, a picture of the profile and what the profile looks like. It's kind of like a mini web page. And I show them that. It has whatever information you want out there, whether you get paid and how you get paid, what's your office hours and all that sort of stuff. That's the one that's on the screen now. And I show them that. It's, you put all the information up that you want. You can edit it at any, at any time. And then there was, I think a, the third one I use is the Google search. Uh, if you could pull that one up, Jason. Uh, the Google search um, is uh, for the doctor, especially who has a website. Um, and I explain them. Here's an example of Harvey, Louisiana orthodontist. This orthodontist has a website, but when you Google his uh, an orthodontist in his area, his patient FYI record comes up quicker than his uh, his own website, and that's because, again, the connection that we're creating with WebMD and Patient FYI, that bigger footprint that you have out in the web market, causes that information to go up sooner, and then most of the patients, when they go there, do end up going to the doctor's website. Uh, now, there's other screenshots that are available to you if you'd like to if you'd like to have access. We have our Yahoo one that shows a, a visual of our of our constant Yahoo campaign, and also what the award of excellence will look like should a dentist qualify. In addition to Tom doing an outstanding job of pointing out the, the most important points about patient FYI, he also has taken it a step further, which really helps close the deal in, in approximately 30 to 40 percent of his, of his first time he talks to about patient FYI does he close it and get the enrollment form in. And that's the way he completes the enrollment form. So that's the E aspect of our HELP acronym with the enrollment form. Tom, talk a little bit about how you, you go about completing the enrollment form for and with the doctor. What I have done, I did start with, with it on paper, but I found it uh, harder to do or more cumbersome to do on paper. So what I've done is on my desktop, I have the enrollment form in the Word document ready to go. And I've even already saved my Word document enrollment form with the TR name filled in, so I don't have to fill that in later. And as a matter of fact, this weekend, I'm going to probably go in to the enrollment form and check off even more of the things that there's a lot of questions in those that just simply everybody answers yes to. So what I do is if I get the agreement that this is something like do, you'd like to try it, it's not going to cost you anything for the first couple months, you'll get reporting, you know if it's going to work. So you know let's give it a try. And if I can get that consensus, uh, if I, I say to enroll you, it's going to take us less than five minutes to me to answer a couple questions with you, and I'll take the form here in my computer, and I'll take it. I'll send it in for you. It'll be all done. And I say, hey, let's do that. So then I just open up my laptop, and I say, well, I can fill in your name and address later on. I've got that in my records. Uh, let's just go to the questions. Um, you know, what procedures are you doing? And I check off those. You know, the Crown and Bridge, the kids, and the, and what technology you have. Again, I know most of this because I know their office. I know what technology they have. So I check those things off. And we just simply stand there quickly, and I just hit the X, you know, X's in and, and write down the list uh, through those first five pages. I don't generally do that last staff page. I say it's there. If you want to do it later, go back in and do it later. They'll send you the login information. But basically, I, I quickly do it in the, um, in the Word document right in the computer. And um, maybe I clean it up a little later on with the fax number, phone number, and all that sort of junk. And I just actually what I've been doing is saving those as PDF forms, uh, publications, and emailing them off to Jason, and so they don't have to worry about reading my writing. And so and so that's great. So Tom talked about a little bit about how not only completes the enrollment form, but that allows him to complete the ELP portion of our HELP acronym. He gets to leave the office with the completed form and then process it, which is the P portion of our acronym. So that not only is he ensuring that the enrollment form gets in but he's making sure he's helped his clients help themselves. So just to capture that again, help. Highlight your, the patient FYIs with the great visuals that you have available at your disposal. E, help, get, help your clients enro complete their enrollment form so you know it's done accurately and legibly. 
L, leave the office with the enrollment form. Now, it's easy as well to do it with the paper form. You can have those completed before you walk into the office. Um, many TRs are spending their Friday mornings getting their next week's of appointments enrollment forms already completed. I would encourage you to do the same thing. And that will, that will allow you to very quickly complete it with the doctor in their office, and you can leave with it that day and have it processed with us that evening. So it's that simple to help your clients help themselves. I want to thank Tom for his time today, thank him for his success and his willingness to share his best practice with everyone else. If anyone has any other ideas that they'd like to share, please send me a note and, we'll, and I'll be happy to facilitate getting that around. If you ever have any questions, do me a favor, just shoot me an email, jason at patientfyi.com, or send me a, uh, call me on my cell phone. I'm available to you seven days a week. With that, Tom, thanks for your success. Thanks for sharing that. TRs, thanks for, thanks for giving us a few minutes on a Friday morning. I hope everyone has a great weekend and a successful next week. Thank you.